it's, 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 Matt said this is the first time I've done this. And, uh, I'm like, it's actually the second time only, uh, last time was 108 years ago. Get it? <laughs> so yeah, I write about right-wingers. Uh, I do journalism, I do history. Uh, you know, I write about stuff that happened like 50 years ago. So this has been, you know, a pretty exciting year for me. Uh, <laughs> Been pretty profitable. Uh, Donald Trump financed my family's trip to Portugal. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, this guy uh, tweeted that I should be cryogenically frozen <laughs> so I can write a book about tr the Trump campaign 50 years from now. And I'm like, that was kind of insulting because I'm like, you know, I've been like reaming Trump with a sandpaper dildo on the regular here for like since like 2015. I was the first guy, I think, to make an argument that the guy was a fascist, right? Uh, working blue. <laughs> My wife's here. She thinks I like to be the center of attention. <laughs> anyway, we have a rule in my house. Um, we don't talk about Donald Trump. Uh, when we have to refer to Donald Trump, he's the pizza puff. <laughs> As in, you know, what did you do at the office today, honey? I reamed Donald Trump. Oh, I mean the pizza puff. <laughs> she goes, oh, honey, that's so sweet. Um, so yes, uh, he's the pizza puff. Uh, but the problem is, uh, with the pizza puff thing is, it's supposed to not remind us of Trump. Right, so it's completely failed because if you think about it, he really should sue the Pizza Puff people. You know how he sued uh, uh, in the '90s, I think it was early '80s. He sued someone for um, calling their business uh, the Trump Group. Right? Do you know why he? Um, do, you, do you know why this family called their business the Trump Group? No, why? Because <laughs> their name was Trump. <laughs> So he sued them for copyright infringement. <laughs> he really did. This is an actual true story. And of course they won, but he held them up in court for like, you know, five years. I really think he could win the pizza puff suit. <laughs> uh, Meg, you ever been to the Smiling Pizza on 7th Avenue in Brooklyn? I have not. Okay, so, you know, I used to, when I was, you know, a starving journalist, I, I would get these pizza puffs for like a dollar, you know, and they were like, you know, pumpkin orange, right? Kind of round and puffy, you know? Um, you, you would stick a fork in them and this kind of like pussy kind of oily ooze would come out. Whoa. And then you would eat it and it would kind of look like the inside of a diaper, right? Ew. I mean, you really should sue these guys for copyright infringement. <laughs> I think you would, you would nail this one. Now, it was, it was a dollar. I, I, you know, I didn't have a lot of money. Trump wasn't running for president yet, you know. I wasn't able to make the windfall profit off of that, uh, you know, glorious moment in American democracy. Sarah Palin bought me a trip to Mexico, by the way. Uh, yeah. Skipping that one. <laughs> uh, it involves abortion and 13-year-olds. Uh, <laughs> no, speaking of, actually, um, George Bush has really small balls. No, I'm serious. Um, I went to the George Bush Library. Uh, here's my souvenir. You know, it's not full size. It's an undersized ball. And by the way, um, here's like Bush's signature, right? Here's, you know, this great seal of the presidency. And then underneath it says, made in China. <laughs> China! Don't you love how he says China? You know, like, quadrillion dollar trade deficit! And then he's like, he makes it sound like, you know, the Chinese had a rider truck. You know, they put on, like, ski masks, and they kind of backed up to the loading dock and started, like, loading, like, pallets of money. You know, not that they actually, like, you know, created things that, like, you know, we wanted to buy. Uh, so anyway, the Bush Library. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's so awesome. There's actually um, a giant display of Hurricane Katrina. No, I'm serious. There is this display of Hurricane Katrina. That's not a joke, which you know is obvious because no one laughed. Uh, <laughs> it's a giant display of you know the Iraq War. Um, there's actually on display is an actual real life butterfly ballot from from you know uh, Dade County. You remember the ballot that was so confusing that it 
actually let George Bush become the president of the United States? Right? They put that on display. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he does have balls. Anyway, so I wanted, I wanted to go to the gift shop. I wanted to get something, you know, for the, to take home. Uh, everything was a ripoff. You know, they literally had a um, uh, Christmas card you could get with a lamb on it painted by George Bush, but it was like $30. In the Reagan Library, you could get um, bookmarks with the uh, wit and wisdom of Nancy Reagan. <laughs> yes, they were a dollar each. Uh, one of them said, uh, women are like tea bags. Right? The, hotter, the, the hotter it gets, the stronger they get. They are, right? And I looked it up, and it turns out that, actually, that quote comes from Eleanor Roosevelt <laughs> in 1944. The Republicans are always stealing the tea bag stuff. You know, it didn't just happen in 2010. Uh, large balls. Uh, oh, I did that one without the note. <laughs> so Trump is, uh, you know, Trump. Is, you know how Trump is refusing to do a conventional campaign, right? They asked him to kiss a baby. He said his lawyer to wait, uh, told him to wait until at least they turn eighteen. <laughs> they asked him to do a rope line. He said he wasn't into bondage. <laughs> they told him to campaign in swing states. They're like, how about Virginia? Can we do Virginia? He said no. She's a five. <laughs> North Carolina, how about Charlotte? He's like, you know, she used to be hot, but now she's like 26. <laughs> Working blue. <laughs> oh, we're liberals. I got to give you a trigger warning on this one. It's about Donald Trump's hair. Uh, he says his hair is real. You know, Ronald Reagan said, you know, he didn't dye his hair. You know, I can't really believe that one. He actually has a uh, like a sixty thousand dollar a pop hair weave studio literally there's one right below his office in trump tower but he says it's real um he wanted a pompadour but he didn't have enough ass hair to transplant <laughs> <Work company. laughs> he was waiting for the donald trump sex tape Ew. <laughs> i'm waiting for that to drop you think the hair in his head is ridiculous <laughs> Thank you. It's all about the timing, isn't it? It's kind of like writing. It's just like, you know, wait here. Wait here. He never takes his shirt off. Even in bed. The hair weave went really, really wrong. And actually, it's his tattoo. It says, Orange Lives Matter. <laughs> Trump TV. He's programming and it's him. He's he's programming it himself uh, for a one whole week. They're gonna play in a loop all the um, shower scenes from sex comedies from the eighties. <laughs> Matt memorized that one. <laughs> the Apprentice, of course. Leave it to Beaver because Beaver. Uh, <laughs> one time he owned the New Jersey Generals, the football team. Uh, he, now he claims he's endorsed by two hundred generals. You know, Kellyanne Conway was like, Herschel Walker doesn't count. Yeah. Well, football fans there, remember? He was on the Generals. Uh, and his favorite general, Michael Flynn, Flynn did you hear? He, uh, he said, Donald Trump is not just running to be president for four years. Does anyone know what he said next? He's running to be president for 400 years. And I was like, no, that's Peter Thiel. Anyone know Peter Thiel? He's the billionaire who founded PayPal. And he thinks that um, if he gets blood transfusions from young people, Kind of like social security, you know, he can la he can like kind of last forever. Right? And Donald Trump's like, this is my guy for the Supreme Court. <laughs> so uh, I did a, a shout out on Facebook. I asked my friends for Trump jokes because you know, I haven't done this in 108 years. Uh, none of the jokes were original. I was like, I said Donald jokes, not Ivanka speeches. <laughs> Do you know what he said to Larry King? No, what? He, he said, actually on the air, he said, uh, do you mind if I sit back a little because your breath is very bad? Wow. <laughs> do you know what he said to Chris Christie? He said, do you mind if I sit back a little because you're about to be indicted? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this wasn't too hard, actually. You just kind of like, it really it isn't. You just kind of like, you got to set up, right? And you kind of fill in the hole, or as Donald calls it, dating. <laughs> Thank you. That's my time. <laughs>